Yeah. Uh, Josh, so you can't, you don't have your camera there? Yeah, whatever I... Okay, that's all right. On, like, I can either block the camera and then it like, goes black or I block it and it goes gray, so... Not too sure. Okay, no problem. Um, we'll keep going. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in real quick on um, where the ma marketing stuff is. Um, so, how many how many have we sent out altogether in terms of the emails? Just just let's go through that and see what maybe we can continue with or what what we can do better or what the blocks are. I think I'm at ten or twelve. Okay, and. I would say, uh, how do we keep track of them? Um, like on this main spreadsheet, can we? Because uh, I, I take, took a look at it, I didn't see that all marked in there, so I, I can't really tell what's what's covered and what's not. Because we should probably just get out and, uh, you know, if, if I have the list, I can also participate in sending out the emails. But we, I think we probably want to do a bl nice blast and and just hit everybody. We got a nice list. Uh, I think we can hit a bunch more people uh, pretty quickly. I'd say. The only thing that's been holding me up, and Josh and I have been talking about this, is that it's very difficult to find. It's very difficult to find podcasts that are more strictly relevant to our interests that are going to reach people who can actually collaborate with us. You know what I mean? You can. Mm -hmm. The way I'm thinking about it right now, the, the open source, open source ecologies, ideas, our product, if you will is focused on entrepreneurs it's focused on makers and i think there's a really ready market with some of the um homesteading urban agriculture types as well um and finding podcasts that talk to those communities that will be most interested in what you would have to say in an interview is difficult there's a lot of guys that kind of look like they're right on the money and then when you start actually listening to their content looking at how they how they do their branding you realize uh, this is not quite not quite uh this isn't going to pay off mm even if we do get right in there. I think also there are some podcasts on a list from NPR and BBC and some large organizations like that that are really great, um, and we should absolutely go after them. But I would like to rich, write the pitch email to an organization like that with links to other podcast appearances to sort of build up, build up to approaching really huge organizations with really huge listener bases, you know what I mean? Uh, when we approach them, uh, what do you mean by that? So, can you explain how do we activate that? Uh, the idea would be to find a lot more podcasts and start building up our sort of podcast presence. And when we have, like, Soonish, for example, is uh, going to follow up with us in a month and a half, that's a good sized podcast. If we can get a handful of podcasts like that, where we where you've done successful interviews then when we turn around to a big organization that has that's a lot pickier about their content like NPR we can say well here are their last six appearances this is how they went these are the things we talked about the people who do the content for those shows the shows that have content teams and high production values those guys will be able to go through your previous interviews with other podcasts and sort of vet you into the show more. You know what I mean? Um, we'll be taken a lot more seriously if we can create a bigger presence. It's sort of the next rung down the ladder of, of social reach. Okay. Um, regarding the fit issue that you just mentioned before, are you saying that you haven't <clears throat> you haven't you avoid, avoided sending out some emails because you felt well maybe that wasn't a good fit or yes okay um, all right Josh what are what are your thoughts on um, progress Josh can you can you hear us
No, not hear you. We can't. Not hearing you there. Joe, are you hearing Josh? No. There we go. There you go. Yeah, we got you. I got you. I still don't. Let me see. Let me maybe just refresh real quick. See if it's on my side. Josh, just so you know, too, none of this is meant to be critical of your work at all. I think part of the part of what we're doing now is investigating and learning what a good fit is. And so, I, you know, the work you've done is excellent. I don't, I don't mean for this to be uh, any kind of any kind of implication that there's anything you've done in a way that you know what I mean. Like, I, the work you've done is excellent. It's just a, we need to figure out where we fit in as part of the part of the mission here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm still not hearing. Are you hearing? Okay. And some connectivity issues there, looks like. No, can't hear. Uh, Leo, David, can you hear us? Or I cannot hear you though for some reason. Oh man, I was I was muted. Um, can okay. you hear me now? Yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah, Josh, how about yourself? Can you? I can hear you guys. Can you hear okay, me? yeah, I could hear you. Um, okay, and um, see if Joe is on. Yeah. Um, what was the nature? Of, so, so Leo, David, and Josh, you guys talked and. Um, Leo David, are you able to get plugged in anywhere or tell me more about that? Uh, I'm going to, speaking of plugged in, I'm going to plug in my headphones here uh, <laughs> so that I can hear you better. The speakers okay. on this computer are quite low quality. Give me a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I, I think the, the list that we have right now. Um, so on maybe what we could do on a podcast list I mean it's like for example the kind of comments you made Joe like okay you, you thought that, that maybe not be a great fit um can we document that somewhere, or more comments, or or did you document that, or? I've put a couple of notes on there. I wanted to I wanted to talk over, I wanted to talk over a lot of these things piece yeah. by piece with Josh before I went all the way in and started doing that. But I could start putting up. There's a pretty good commenting system on Google Docs. I could put up notes, and then people can respond to those notes pretty easily. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Right now, There's all we have is like. Sorry, please go ahead. Wait, can you hear me? Yep. Yep. Yes. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Right now, all we have is like the left-hand column, and I've been seeing uh, Joe's been putting in notes there, so I kind of yeah. just respond to the. But, um, and then the only way we have indicated on like which ones we've reached out to is the status column, which is like color coordinated, which can get confusing. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe we just need to think of a new system to like indicate which ones we've reached out to and which ones we haven't. Or maybe we can uh, like uh, move the rows of which podcasts we've reached out to like down yeah, from the main yeah. lists. Yeah, yeah. We could definitely dra drag them up. Like for example, the you know the nature. I am. That's you know that's it's actually uh, done. Um, yeah. well, we can drag them up, like up in the list, as far as the ones that are more more promising versus less promising. We can drag them down because you can actually take each number, and you can actually move that 
over. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just simply drag, yeah, drag the the rows over. Um, Mm -hmm. um, when, I, when I was in the army, we would use like a simple traffic light system, green, red, yellow, or red meaning ones we haven't reached out to, yellow is pending, green is good to go, that could work as well. Yeah, we have that key um, in a like column VWX, here let me share my screen there, maybe we could just do that right in the first column there so we can... Let's see, uh, share my screen here. Yeah, because um, there's, there's two things we need to indicate progress in suitability, priority. Okay. Um, well, let's do maybe. So, so the K through L, N was really about. So, these ones were kind of, we were assessing how good they are, but maybe then we can summarize that in a column, say mm -hmm. maybe B, uh, let's say insert column right, so priority, can we, can we try, oh, let's say priority here, uh, let's see, let's maybe get rid of these four columns, delete rows one through four, um, so maybe prioritize green, yellow, red. Like maybe we could have all the greens on the very top, okay. and then mm. uh, move down to yellows and reds. Um, and as far as I mean, these are. Uh -oh. I guess if we um, like reds would be either no go or. Maybe we can do this podcast name and contacted. So maybe we can just do a color code mm -hmm. there. So for example, like, you know, like Floss Weekly or Open Source Creative. So no responses there or anything like that? How do we tr keep track of progress of what happened there? Yeah, so... I think right now we just have like the the status in column Q and it just says yellow if we've reached out but then say for soonish podcast they reached back and said they'll re they'll like let us know in a few months so we just turn that to like a wow. green and then you on um, like the top row you can see like your uh, nature I am it's so it's like a lighter green but I don't know it gets kind of confusing when you do all it goes like different shades of colors so yeah Maybe keep it a little. So the these ones are reached out. Yeah, maybe let's simplify this code here. So uh, <laughs> let's do like yellow, gr green, yellow, red. Um, so well, for status, maybe we can just go with green on the ones we contacted. Then, uh, and in this column, the green, yellow, red would mean green they're in, yellow is under evaluation, and red is no. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here we can turn all these things into contact and so the status. So this is not contacted, but. Um, Go, go, no, go. Yeah. Um, let's see. Should we take a look at some of them right now? So, fl Floss Weekly. Well, let's see. The ones we contacted, maybe... Um, well, I'll put them on top there. Can feel free to drag these things up. So, um, so if we contacted them here in a status, then yeah, the ones outstanding are naturally below that. I 
and then this one edit. Um, delete rows. No way. Control Z. Thing that we can do. Mm-hmm. Yep, and I'm dragging those up there. Okay. Um, so we've got those uh, 9, the 10 here. Mm -hmm, so that's yellow, yellow as in potential, yes. And these ones here just haven't yet respawned. Let's see. No response yet. Is that is that correct? Yeah, for from Floss Weekly to Reclaimed, and then Soonish got back to us, but mm -hmm. we'll know in a few. Um, so what's that say? That the response rate is pretty low? Should we um, pretty much... What do we do there? Like... Um, you know, for one one response out of ten, do we say? Does that mean that we just need to t get many more names down on a list? Is that? Yeah, because it seems like it's a numbers game anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I think the recommend you know, getting recommendations from different people, like going to our uh, maybe to our Facebook page. And asking there, uh, yes. asking on different venues where we have some audience. That's something we mm. could definitely do. Um, that's a that's a great idea. Yeah. Open source creative got back to us and is open to it too. I just need to forward you guys that email and bring everybody else in on that. Okay. So, um, link. Can we do this thing so that? You know, so we don't have to search through our email boxes and stuff like that. Can we put a column where you just paste that on on your log or wherever? Like, you could really put it anywhere on a wiki, as long as there's a link to it that we can find it. So maybe um, on your log you can say response, you know, double bracket, podcast response. You get a web page for that and you can paste it in there so we can all be on the same page working openly so that mm. um, you don't have to worry about even forwarding the email um, but if we have multiple people working on this then for transparency you want to have it so it's visible to anybody at any time um, so that would be a preferred way so maybe can we do like a column right here so link wiki link to response link to response um, And that's the link just to the podcast itself. Can we do that so we can uh, keep track of that? That shouldn't be. I mean, is that too much work, or is that acceptable, or can we try that? I would say yes, because it's for the for the wiki, and that's how we're structuring everything. So it mm -hmm. follows follows the protocol. Yeah, yeah. So that's I good. think it's good. We may want to put put up summaries of responses and things like that because even yeah. though we may all put a disclaimer in our a disclaimer in our email that open source ecology works openly, not everybody who might respond to our emails, um, not everybody might understand that that means that all of our correspondence goes up online. And I want to I want to make sure people get an opportunity to know that's coming before we necessarily publish what they write to us. Just to be be friendlier to the fact that we're coming from a very different mindset than a lot of the people we're about to be working with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so if it's yeah, so it could be a summary or a copy of the people don't mind, as long as we're aware of uh, what the status of each one is. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, work division. Yeah. Um, so what do you guys suggest at this point then? Uh, wh where do we go? 
Um, you definitely want to reach out. I guess we can go through. Um, Start by prioritizing on the status, and let's just kill off this column to see. Okay, if there's anything there we don't really want to contact. I mean, I would be inclined to say, I mean, Joel, which one, for example, was an example where, after looking at it, you think we won't have much much success there? Can you give us an example? Um, the diff is only concerned with open source technology that's being used by Facebook or on Facebook's campus. Uh, Mm. For example, but like, there's oh, no yeah. way, there's, there's no, no way to actually know that without, without going in and listening to their content. You know what I mean? It's it's uh, a lot of these podcasts are written assuming that their core audience knows exactly where their website, and very few people are going to stumble into it that aren't from their core audience. Uh huh. I see. Okay, no, that makes sense. <laughs> right. It is We're not, I think it's the diff that was the Facebook one, but right. No, that's that's right. I I don't think they would really want us there if we're not part of Facebook. Hmm. Um, well, you know, I know the guy who runs their makerspace. Well, I know a guy who knows the guy who runs their makerspace. So I'm going to try to sell him one of our printers. Yeah. So okay, <laughs> maybe eventually, but <laughs> yeah. For now, we can put it more as the red downstairs. Um, right. Okay, well that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, we should just go through this and. Uh, so how can we divide this? Maybe. Um, how many are there right now? Fifty. So we've got a total list of sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Or sixty-six. Um, so that's good. Good number. We can um, try going through the numbers. Twenty-two each, right? right? Yeah. I love that number. I was born on the 22nd. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> as far as, uh, so as far as the kind of a template email, um, I know Josh, Josh Log, you got a good one there. Let's see, um, let's see Joe Log. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, man, I haven't hit my log this week at all. I didn't even think of that. Okay. That's uh, something I myself need to get used to. Yeah, yeah. So we can borrow yours. Like, okay. if you've got a good one already, then um, you know, share that. I know you sent it through the email, but then um, say Leo David didn't get get that email or he wasn't on the email. Um, so yeah, whenever possible, post it publicly as opposed to privately. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Um, Let's see, Josh. So tell us about so the way you've been searching. I read through your, some of your notes. So you've been going through categories like you're searching through the different uh, platforms, and there's searches there. So maybe what are the different st search strategies for more podcasts? Because I actually uh, looked at your log there, and we were looking at oh, okay, let's get to a hundred by uh, July twentieth, which is next yeah. Monday. I don't know if we're gonna meet that, but uh, that was our goal uh, some time ago. But what's your strategy right now? For yeah, so know, when we made, made that goal, my strategy was just going by like industry or like uh, genre, genre. Mm -hmm. and just going on Google and looking up as many things I could find on Google Podcasts. But then I realized you have to go onto like specific platforms as well, and they can give you a lot more like hidden podcasts as well. But then uh, I actually got this list up to like eighty the other day. And then I started looking more, and I realized a lot of these podcasts are inactive. Like a lot of podcasts just stopped. So uh, it's hard because to find. Of COVID? Like, uh, yeah, there's a lot of COVID stuff, but then there's also a lot that just like stopped in 2017 or 2016. They just kind of fell off. And there's only like a few select like 3D printing podcasts or like a few like maker podcasts left. So I think just like I'm starting to run out of like genres to like relate to OSC with podcasts. Because there seems to be only like three or four strong ones in each genre. I see. Okay. And what about the idea? So I just, for example, searched here. Um, let me actually share my screen again. I search. What do we want to search for? We want to search for positive. Um, let me see. Let me see what I searched. 
podcast dealing with positive future. I think we can qualify on that, and I think a lot of people think we're this and so that. So I say I do that. So so doing topics like that, just general, you know, not any platform. Um, no no specific platform. I'd say yeah. I mean we could. I think we could do that. Uh, definitely okay. chain. Uh, look at general searches on Google. There's a bunch here, mm. like ten different ones. I don't know how relevant they are, but we can definitely try that. Um, along with the keywords. I mean the keywords. Let's see how accurate are the keywords right now. Um, let's look at our keywords. Um, open source hardware, open source makers, maker DIY, 3D printing electronics, open source software, free cab creator, design thinking, 3D printer, circular economy. I think there would be a bunch on circular economies. Have we tapped into that yet? I don't, I don't think so, right? Mm, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Let's maybe prioritize a few. There's a definite a lot of lot of interest in uh, circular economy these days as people look mm. at the supply chains mm -hmm. getting shut down. Um, I think I think along the lines, something along the lines of positive future as a keyword. Um, what are the what very, about, go ahead. What about something like um, PPE? Because a lot of people are into one of the big, <laughs> yeah metals I will say that or achievements of the maker culture recently is the whole movement to make PPE for all the workers um, yeah yeah I mean that's definitely valid anyone um, that that means that the, yeah people who are making things PPE personal mm -hmm. protective equipment there's a lot of open source projects around that right. there's absolutely um, Let's see, open source technology, so we kind of hit those. Open design, there's a bunch of stuff on open design, I think that's that's a decent priority. Um, flexible fabrication, digital fabrication, open source fab lab. Uh, collab I think collaborative design is a big one, it's a big theme. Now there's uh, also like with the Open Building Institute, we, I think we can offer quite a bit on the eco housing part because uh, with respect to eco housing, um, take a look at Extreme Enterprise. So we're we're going to plan on doing an event, a big hackathon on developing enterprise around the the eco house part. So that's news. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of new stuff. Working on it, but um, we can definitely cover the eco housing. I mean, we can <laughs> we can definitely go into the um, integrated agriculture or aquaponics uh, permaculture. Yeah, homesteading. The homesteading, yeah. Sure. Aquaponics, homesteading. All those people are, love our stuff, so that's that's pretty pretty robust there. Um, yeah. There's so collab collaboration. That's the collaborative design part. There's a lot of effort around that. Open design. There's a lot of groups around that. I mean, 3D printing. Definitely. I mean, there's tons of stuff on around 3D printing. And um, let's see, maker, maker stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got a few. Well, let's see. Um, quick search top maker podcasts. Sustainability. Yeah, yeah there, right? very, I mean, that's a very broad word. I mean, you can throw everything in there, so you can <laughs> definitely mm -hmm. say s top sustainability podcasts. There's uh, post carbon, like post carbon and post scarcity, oh. a lot of those people. Okay. Yeah. 
Something to think about, too, is even as we start to mine down all of our uh, podcast search terms, and as we really, you know, we we break this list up into 22, 22 sets, and we all agree to either research and explain why we're not reaching out or reach out to all of these by a certain yeah. time when we pre generating this list and mining through this list if it starts to get harder and harder to find channels to reach out podcasts to reach out to let's switch over to youtube channels that oh, all yeah. of this maps That's directly on youtube essayists you mean um what do you mean by that so people who do shows on youtube or yeah youtubers yep. Yeah, yeah same, 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 exact same format. Thing. Same yeah. format, but on YouTube, so it's uh, posted on YouTube? Right. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea, Joe. Yeah, I think Marcin and I talked about either switching into YouTube or uh, colleges after this. Because college is another pathway, I think. OSC mm -hmm. has plans for the future, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely colleges. Basically, between colleges chapters yeah yeah absolutely um you call those joe you would call those youtube podcasts or or youtube um youtube shows or what, are, what what's kind of can be more specific channels YouTube, youtube channels okay Are you thinking that where they actually interview people on there, or they just talk about things? Where they actually interview people? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Very similar to what you've done recently, talking to people with other projects yeah. on our YouTube channel. It's the yeah, same exactly. idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's definitely quite viable. Mm-hmm. Because podcast that typically refers to something that you're just listening to, but I mean the equivalent to that is some where people are actually watching that as well, right? So pretty much doubles mm -hmm. um, doubles our number of choices here. Okay, it's a good idea. Uh, to we can move right into that. Um, what else? Yeah. I mean, those, the, the keywords we have there, I mean, that's tons of opportunities there. Um, since we're, you know, since we're looking at this return being quite uh, low, the number one metric there is, are they still continuing? So, for example, where is that, do we have a column where they're, they're active? And how do we, is that easy to find? Well, rather uh, than create a whole new column for that, I would just suggest eliminating the ones that aren't active so we don't have to do like double work. Yeah, and is that immediately visible? So basically one of the criteria for posting this here is it's got to be active, of course. Right, and yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure every podcast here is active within the last like month. Yep. Okay. And then at the very, very bottom, there's like four that I've actually put down there that like recently just stopped being active, but I just kept them there in case like maybe mm -hmm. we'll see them start back up. Okay. Well, if, if you if we mark a podcast red, which means we're not going to reach out, you can right click on that red space and insert a note with Google Docs, and there and then mm. right there on that on that place, you can type out why why this has been marked red. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, definitely. Um, so if we do come across, you know, I think, I think Josh's sort of bulk collection approach, you know, all of the relevant information right up in the front, going yeah. through as quickly as he can is a really good working method. And then as we go through to reach out to these guys and investigate a little bit more carefully, listen yeah. to a little sampling of what they're putting up, if we then see something that, you know, it's a, it's a secondary filter. You know what I mean? There's, yeah. the, there's the coarse filter medium, and now we're the fine filter medium. So, I, you know, if we're marking guys red and, and explaining why, yep. and even if that's a good percentage of what of what Josh is adding to the sheet, I think that's still a really good way to work through this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So we can take this, basically look at column C there, and just knock it out, turn it all green as far as content. And then we can look for, uh, when we have a green and a white, I mean... That's a July third. That's pretty. Some recent ones here, but um, by the time it gets a little old, we'll see that okay, it's probably a no go, and we can probably 
you know, if we don't hear, <laughs> maybe we should say, like, if we he don't hear within a certain time, like a month, we call that a red month or what is that like three yeah. weeks a month or two weeks maybe um, uh, I think we two weeks is a sufficient two, time two weeks yeah. right so let's do um, I'm gonna add a note there if after two weeks right. no response not all these people like Elon Musk you know, they can't be like right. that busy yeah market um, oh, I, well I see a case for for orange actually because they're still like you know they didn't say no maybe market orange is that all right or is that too confusing uh, I think we have gray on there for uh, unsure which could be that market gray okay mm -hmm. well we could always too you know if there's a couple of them that are up at the top and marked gray one of us could always jump in there and try throwing a follow-up email yeah. before we move down the red too you know two weeks and then an attempt for a follow-up if it goes another two weeks then it's marked red Right. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, um, yes. So yeah, we'll put a note there. After two weeks, Norwich found market gray. Uh, then ripe for follow up. If no answer after another two weeks, market red. Yep. Um. Garden Fork, Arc Junkies, Maker, Vision, Pots, Game Makers, Meet Your Maker. Yeah, I think, uh, like Josh, you're saying you're going through the podcast. So yeah, just another via completely viable way is just direct search through Google. So you catch catch just about everything. Let's see. Oh, okay, Th this guy looks like... Last one was April 2019. It doesn't like a, look like a good schedule, so move on. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yeah. But I guess we gotta just go through the numbers here and uh, keep finding the friends that are gonna respond. Um, what's what else? Any other thoughts on strategies for, that we can tap to uh, get those numbers happening? Anything else to say? Uh, other than the YouTube one, um, and so I think in order of, not priority necessarily, but order of, of operations, we do the YouTube next, and then you were talking about colleges after that? Uh, colleges was more with respect to, that's not for the podcast thing, that's more regarding finding potential collaborators who are working on open source projects. So this is a different, okay. different... Uh, different branch of the whole marketing thing this is actually striking up collaborations on related projects okay. so a little different um, okay but I say let, yep go ahead Joe I say let's try to sweep up the low hanging fruit you know if we take if we all take if if the three of us take 22 names each off that list we can have them researched uh, and either rejected or emailed you know okay. I think we're faster that than we have been. A lot of this, a lot this research takes a lot of yeah. time, but we could probably have that wrapped up. Twenty-two each, we could have that wrapped up in a few weeks at most. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's pound through that list and work on filling out a sort of secondary, or work on filling out more podcasts and start a secondary okay. list for the YouTube right. and push it as far as we can um, and see where that gets us. Yeah, Wait. let's let's set a date for. Um, okay, so so to go through these sixty-six that we have now, what? When should we meet about that to discuss results? This day, um, today's the sixteenth. Sixteenth. Um, next. Next Saturday. Next Sunday. Twenty fifth. Weekends. Say again, Joe. Weekends are generally pretty tough for me. Okay. Um, Maybe check it on Friday, um, like yeah. 24th, see where we're at. Yes. So 24th yeah. or, the, or the 31st? Uh, 24 would be okay. 
keep bear in mind bear in mind looking at this expect to spend at least half an hour vetting each one of those links so 22 names expect that to be 11 hours 11 hours of diving down deeper if we're going through the trouble of sampling the content and really really making sure it's a tight fit if we want to go loose and try to go for a volume approach and just throw it as fast as we can then heck we could get through this list by the 22nd but i i wonder if it does more for our credibility to be very strategic uh as we're just getting this off the ground well regarding credibility i mean does it hurt to ask or why would it uh, uh right because during the dialogue with the person i imagine we will discover that yeah that's true i'd say that's we, true. I, I wouldn't be too worried about that part we uh, this is basically initial initial contacts so we're i don't think we're we have a chance to burn any bridges there or anything like that Uh, yeah, so I think next Friday. That works for me. Okay. Um, okay. And I, do, I wanted to add on this sheet right here. Yeah. Where we could begin a new sheet for the YouTube ones. Y yeah, um, yeah. Just start a next sheet. Mm -hmm. Yes. That would be good. No. Mm -hmm. But we'll get through these first. Um, and yeah. And then, yeah, check, check in Friday. Yeah, would the um, same time work for you guys, or? Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure about that because I'm going to be. I mean, I can make it work. I'm sure I can make it work. So I can stop at a coffee shop or something. I'll be traveling that Friday, but I'm sure I can stop at a coffee shop and make it work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Josh and and Joe, you you good for say five on Friday? Yeah, that works for me. Okay, let's put that on a calendar and see if we can, uh, how many of these we can nail out. I mean, just pretty much taking the more of the quicker approach and just getting right into that dialogue. And uh, I, I don't know, I'd say make the outreach just short and sweet. Make sure they see our TED Talk and just the basics because mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to also, you know, send them a wall of text before, yeah, just short and sweet I think does it in this case okay yeah I've been yeah. I've been going for sort of very deeply targeted pitches and going slow but it sounds like moving to a strategy of faster lighter briefer uh, and going yeah. for volume try to cast a wider net is is what we're talking about here yeah definitely definitely and then as we build contacts then re I think recommendations are a definite good thing uh, once we get on one you get recommended to a couple more and that kind of grows that that way yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, take a look at the. If you want to take a look at a deep dive of what's what's happening with the housing project, look at the Extreme Enterprise page. I put a link in the notes of today's. Uh, did I put a link in there? Um, okay. Let me save this. But just take a look at where we store all the meetings. It's called the, it's called OSC Devlog. Uh, let me just paste. I think I pasted the link. Devlog, but past meetings 2020. Um, so if you ever need to go back to the notes from this, oh, I just took a go. few notes, but it's July 2020. Um, there's OSC related podcasts. Uh, there's take a look at Extreme Enterprise. Uh, I just put the link in there, but that's that's kind of like for the big deal like the housing part is also the eco housing that's definitely a candidate for the podcast we get on because we did the open building institute project and that's some major good news and we're going to continue that up with extreme enterprise proposal that you can read about there more so if you have the time just take a look at that as well it's pretty interesting okay. but i think with that that's plenty plenty to do for friday yeah all right okay oh. Sounds good. Okay, sounds good, guys. So thank you, and then we'll meet meet again next Friday. See where we are. See if we can knock knock the list off. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Bye, Take care then. Bye bye. Thanks.